Hello and welcome back. I am Robot Genie and we are here playing the Solanke uh, Dynasty. And uh, yeah, we're going to finally unpause, which will be great. Uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of setup involved here. You know what? I'm going to change. Let me just change where uh, I got my little uh, recording timer and I want it to be uh, yeah, in the middle there. It was blocking kind of my date and stuff. Oh, now I can see I have three out of six stems in size and stuff like that. We have 66 gold. That's pretty good. Uh, I would like more gold, more money, more stuff. All right, we got maximum feudal levies. That is great. Uh, to the glorious, your wisdom. Uh, I have decided to accept your decision. Okay, concubine. Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, no, we're going to gain prestige. We need the prestige. Uh build the ambition to get married. Of course I did. Let's see, what other ambition do we want? Um, so I know that like, if I do have a son, it increases my fertility. It's like a little hidden hidden bonus. Uh, so we should probably do that. Get some extra fertility. We can choose our heir anyway, so it doesn't matter how many people we have, how many, how many kids we have. It's just better. Just have more kids. More kids, more stuff, whatever. Just bump it up to speed five here. Fabricating a claim. Um, our monthly balance is okay. Let's uh, let's see. Vassals. Um, yeah, I mean they they like me well enough. This guy could maybe uh, could maybe send him a gift. That's a lot. Uh, wow, it's going really fast. Um, I haven't played this since I got a new computer, so. I used to be only able to go at speed 4. Speed 5 is a little, uh, a little overwhelming for me. There we go. Alright, yeah, now we're, now we're scarred instead of wounded. That's, that's great. Um, yeah, we just gotta, just gotta expand here. We're at war, so maybe what we should do is raise our levies and, oh, hmm, no, we're totally losing. I mean, I guess I could declare independence at this point. Uh, it looks like this guy lost um, some land. Like, I could maybe declare independence at this point, but what would it really buy me? I would just be here by myself, and then these guys would come and retake me when they regain power. So that doesn't really seem like such a good idea. Now, to kind of declare war on this guy. Now, I don't, don't have a valid cast spell. Yet. I think I gotta be independent to get a lot of these, uh, like, subjugation cast spellies and stuff. So, uh, I think we're just gonna work by, um, what's this guy's chance? Uh, he has a 10.68 yearly chance to fabricate a claim, so, um, I don't know, maybe in 10 years? <laughs> That'd be nice. What, what does this guy want? Uh, he would like to appoint me as marshal. Yeah, that means I won't lead his armies, actually. If I'm his marshal, I won't have to lead any armies. Which is, uh, which sounds good to me. Hmm, okay. What's the difference between these guys? Wow, this guy is 22. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna swap. Jeez. The difference, difference between learning there was a 22 and a 7. That's uh, it's no contest. I don't always like to switch them because it, it brings you a pretty big negative opinion, especially if the other guy was a landholder. I didn't even check there because um, we didn't really get to the point where we, we should check. Uh, it was just too good. Um, you know, I could start banishing people inside here for some money and some power because uh, I can own most of these you know, like, I can own six holdings. Or I could just save up money and build new holdings. Yeah, the thing is, I could own six holdings, so I could just imprison and banish a couple of people here. And then I could own, like, well, I can't really own the temples, but owning the cities would be fine. Especially in your capital. You can totally own cities in your capital. Uh, this is a castle. You know, I could always fabricate a claim on this as well. And this guy's my steward. Be kind of mean. 
I could, uh, what, what happens if I imprison them? We have a 42% chance. Yes. I mean, I also want to, let's get it off of Gavelkind first. I think that's the most important, uh, most important first step here. And, uh, I kind of want to, like, Okay, I can't I can't go on a tiger hunt because I'm religion Jane. So why is it even an option? Uh, I don't know. If we had if we had a hundred prestige, we could do uh, this fe feast. Um, if we had three hundred prestige, we could search for a guru. So I can't go on a tiger hunt because I'm Jane. That's uh, that's too bad. <laughs> but I still got the option. So we can't really do much here. Um, yeah, we can't, we just can't do much until, uh, so, so we'll just let some time tick by. I don't want to go get my, my armies crushed over here, so I'm just kind of waiting. Waiting things out. If the war was more on our side, I might go join, uh, to get some... Oh, wow. Uh, so we won this, this part of the war. And they, wow, he really, Prathia, Prathithara, really expanded, um, what is the crown authority? Really expanded the, uh, the empire that we are a part of right now. Uh, soon, soon we'll make it our own empire, but not, not right now. Uh, right, what crown laws, um, limited crown authority? Uh, I see no reason to uh, lower it or raise it. I mean, we could have a little bit more power if we lowered it, but... Wait, what? Oh, she... She had the child of another man. What a piece of crap. Is that maybe because she was pregnant when I took her as a concubine? That could be. All right, we just had a son and a daughter. That's uh, good for us. Let's pick an ambition. Um, become, have a thousand prestige, nah. I'd rather work on my diplomacy. That sounds good. Our prestige is terrible. We need more wealth. Um, we could maybe, uh, I don't, feudal taxation is pretty bad, but I, I would do, I want to do city taxation. So we can do that kind of soon. And then we get another son here. That's, that's good, I guess. That's good as long as we can change the, the law here. We haven't reigned for 10 years yet, though, so. Oh, I thought I was already marshal. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's, we'll, we'll definitely be appointed marshal. I thought I already accepted that. Yeah, so we get all these kids here. Um, he, this guy was a twin. He's a child of a concubine. Well, most of my children are going to be children of concubines, so. That's fine. Uh, this guy's also a child of a concubine, but I would like some of them to, I would like one of them, someone, to have my traits. Uh, we can invest in a technology, so military organization, we want retinues, totally, so that's good. Retinues are like the best thing ever. We're going to totally get some more elephants, it's going to be great. So, I mean this early stage, I think we're just going to be sitting around for a little bit. Um, try to consolidate power, try to like, you know, uh, get a claim over here would be nice. And I don't think we can really move too much until after until after that happens. So yeah, we're just gonna kinda sit here. <laughs> Zero frame right there for a second. Now uh yeah it's kinda hard even with this new computer that I got, uh which is pretty nice, uh <laughs> it's still hard to kinda scroll around running at speed five game doesn't really like it. If we bump down to speed 4 though, let's see uh, how... Oh yeah, we're, we're 
not even having a problem sticking at 30 frames a second here. We can just kind of look around. So, that's cool, you know. Um, righteous imprisonment. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's... Your concubine. Yeah, let's imprison her. Let her cower in fear. Yeah, we'll just take another concubine. Um... Is that the same woman? I don't know, she's a hunchback, and I'm, I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna impregnate her. Hopefully she doesn't pass on her hunchbackness to my children. Yeah, I mean, I always love to see how the world develops. We do have um, the Sunset Invasion DLC turned on. I think that'll add an extra, nice little extra challenge in for the EU4 stuff. I am hoping that uh, with the uh, with the mod that I'm going to use to transfer our to do the converting, that we will get a better technology than Indian technology. I'm hoping for like at least uh, at least uh, Eastern if not western and then um, if we own like all of India that'll we can we can have a pretty fun game in EU4 pretty powerful I mean we starting out pretty powerful we can take over probably a lot of stuff but uh, the, the Aztecs there will add a nice little extra challenge um, because the new world won't be easy at all to fight it'll probably be our hardest opponent maybe uh, I know the Timurids and all of them can get quite big all the hordes can can get quite out of control so we'll see we'll see how it goes first I gotta you know secure my position here we're very much not secure in our position well we're se we're secure in that our state is relatively secure I mean it's being invaded and it's losing the battle but um, they're relatively we're relatively secure because it's a big state. Big, uh, big empire. No, it doesn't look like any empires are drifting yet. I don't think this is still a kingdom. I don't th even think this is, uh. I don't think this guy holds the, uh. Em no, he doesn't hold an emperor title. Oh, this guy holds the emperor title of Rajasthan, but um, he's pretty small. <laughs> uh, okay, we gained some money. That's nice. Uh, let's see. My son is not satisfied and keeps asking for more toys to play with. Let him have him. Uh, he gets greedy or di well, greedy's not bad. Diligent or trusting? Trusting's terrible. Diligent is fine. Uh, yeah, let him have. Him. Get um oh, diligent. That's fine. That's, that's, that's okay. Uh, oh right. Let's um do city taxation. Large. Um. Yeah, what? Oh, wow. Two people got married without anyone's consent. Well, <laughs> let's throw them in prison. Who the hell do they think they are? Uh, okay, yeah, children lack a guardian. Educate child. Uh, my son, I'm going to educate my son. And then my other son, I'm also going to educate. Just educate my sons. And then, wow, I have so many children. Just so many children. <laughs> Just tons of children. Uh, now, who uh, dislikes, yeah, who's ranked highest and dislikes me the most? Uh, let's, let's have this guy educate my daughter. Oh, oh, look at this guy. This, uh, this son is quick. He's probably going to be my heir. See, what I what I like to do, though, is keep the oldest one as the heir until he becomes of age. Because you never want a child 
inheriting the throne. So you first secure that, and then pick the best, the best outcome uh, for the with the education is kind of my strategy. Now we do have money to hire mercenaries. But, uh, not really necessary right now. Do we have people in our prison? Yeah, they both got imprisoned. Uh, we can banish them. I mean, execute them. Oh, uh, yeah, let's banish. We'll take her gold. That sounds good. Oh, and then we can't banish this guy. Can we execute him? Cost me 20 purity. Now, I mean, let's just let him rot in prison. I don't see any reason to do anything else. Uh... Wow, you know what? Legalism doesn't really matter for Jane, huh? Not at all. Um, oh, okay. So Jainism still has a short reign penalty. Buddhism doesn't have a short reign penalty. <laughs> so I was gonna say, if if we also if we have Denzin increase and no short reign penalty, then legalism like totally doesn't even matter for a while because we already have eight holdings we only have three I mean I should just start imprisoning and banishing people and I think as when my son son comes of age I'm just gonna do that in my whole realm and, and, and imprison and banish everybody in my realm and then keep all the holdings to myself I just want to switch off a of gavelkan first uh, and that can consolidate our power make us much more powerful uh, so I don't know what to spend this on because normally I just pump legalism all the way up and pump military organization all the way up, but that's not necessarily the best way to go here. Um, you know what? Tolerance is probably pretty good in India uh, because religions convert super slow and there's a ton of different cultures. So that would probably be good. I'm content to just let the culture points pile up. Uh, I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't see a big problem with that. Okay, yeah, she's complaining about her dark cell, that's nice. I don't care. Uh, no, we don't want gluttonous. Uh, I guess we'll be temperate, maybe. Yay. Alright, we're temperate, hurry! I am ill. Hopefully I don't die. Um, my son practically, my son Nagedo practically lives in the kitchen, the little glutton. Let's talk to him about moderation. Can we birch him? No, let's just talk to him about moderation. Hey, right, good. Become temperate. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. Now, uh, our liege here is consists just, just losing more and more land. Um, very bad for him. I mean, it's kind of good for us. We could do an independence faction. We could probably win right now. It's just, what do I do from there? No, I'd rather consolidate my power first. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do ultra ultimogenitor uh, succession, and then um, yeah, let's just nominate. And so right now, the youngest son is automatically my heir, but I can nominate whoever I want because I'm Jane. So, <laughs> so it, it's really just uh, elective. <laughs> At this point, it's it's an elective um, succession law, more or less with me as the only elector ever, <laughs> which is just so awesome, it's just so powerful. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just really powerful. Uh, you know what, I think probably we are going to go for this five-year-old. How much older is this guy? He's only two years older, so we're just going to, this guy's going to be our heir. Congratulations, dude. Why do you not like me? Oh, yeah, that's right. Leech is a lunatic. That's right. I forgot that. I am, uh, I am, I'm a possessed lunatic. We haven't gotten any cool events from that, though, yet, which is unfortunate. Um, it's 
It's unfortunate. We're sitting here as a possessed lunatic. And you know what the crazy thing is? Because we're Jane, people actually like us. <laughs> even though uh, even though we're a lunatic. They uh, they seem to enjoy me anyway. They're like, well, he's he's a uh, he's a Jane lunatic though, so it's totally fine. You know what, we should really split away. Um Oh no, no 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 no. No. Let's uh let's consolidate power now. Oh wow, we hold one of the um Is that true? Yeah, we hold one of the religious uh centers for Jane. Uh and then wow, okay. So we're right near three of them. That's really good. And then the, then there's a fourth one down here and then there's one in the middle of the Buddhist lands. So that's going to be the hardest one to recover. But these three, we could hold, we could actually occupy all three of those. Real easy. Well, you know, relatively speaking. But let's, um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the military up. Get them over here. Because I want to, I want to be, you know, over the land that I'm going to try to uh, take. Uh, okay, let's see, uh, where am I? I probably want to not be, like, the King's Marshal anymore. Resign from Council, yeah, we're gonna do that. Now, there's a war going on. So, hopefully we don't get nailed by... Because my liege keeps on losing the war, so hopefully we don't get nailed by people. Open council position, spy master. Uh, okay. Let's build the spy. Let's build the spy network. Oh, I like I like his outfit more than the normal spy. And then uh, yeah, let's just start with the um, Denzin. And we're gonna go. Hey man, why don't you come in our prison? And oh wow, so we got him. He's locked away. And then we're gonna banish him get 153.6 gold that's great and now he's uh, now he's holding his mind uh, we have apparently lost Dems in size and why is that we're still Jane oh because uh, because before we are gavelkind succession so we get extra Dems in size from being gavelkind that's why that's why uh, so maybe maybe we will grab legalism it's good I didn't pick anything. Uh, okay. That's a that's a temple. This is a city. This is a temple. And this is a city. So wait, we have two more that we can do. So we're gonna want the city. We're gonna want the two cities, definitely. Um, and then we'll probably also remove the guy in the temple. Just for, yeah, we're gonna do the guy in the temple too, just for money. Um, yeah, we just we just want his money, uh, so we're gonna imprison him. Yeah, that was easy. And then we're gonna banish him. Oh yeah, 110 gold. That's great. And then let's come over here. All right, ill is gone. Uh, <laughs> everyone's gonna hate me though. Everyone's gonna be hating, hating on me. They uh, for some reason they don't like it when you imprison and banish them all. Uh, he has raised his flag in rebellion. Uh, great. You're going to die, dude. Anyway, this is probably a good end to the episode, so if you're liking this series, make sure to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.